Good morning, bro. So in this video, I'm going to talk about how your belief and your thought patterns literally dictate how your life is going, basically. Like, I know it sounds so woohoo, so like fucking woohoo, like oh, 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 law of attraction, oh, law of attraction, wow, wow, fucking. But trust me, bro, it works, as you can see. Let me get a, let me get a nice uh, Airbnb right now. Looking really pink. Let me just show you around. See, this is like this fucking nice ass. You know, like this. This shit is. The kitchen is fucking nice. I love that shit. You see that? And then, don't mind the stuff. Let me show you the outside too. There's like maintenance shit. I got like this whole pond to myself. Oh, there's like fucking sunlight. Let's go. Let's go. Sunlight, let's go. All right, let's go inside. It's fucking cold out here. Now it's freezing. Yeah, so what was it? What I was saying was that how you think your belief pattern, it literally dictates what's going to happen. So with the last week, before I was literally thinking, oh, I don't deserve anything. Everything is good. I'm not deserve. I'm not fucking on this tripod, bro. I don't deserve anything. Everything is going bad. Like I cannot, I don't deserve like anything. I should not be happy. I don't deserve to be social, right? And that was such a fucking toxic thought, right? Now what I'm thinking is I deserve everything. Of course I do. Of course I fucking do. I'm an attractive, hardworking, young, ambitious man. And that's not to say just how you think. The odd thing that also matters is your experiences throughout the life. Like a person living in a good Airbnb, cozy. I wouldn't say like fancy, fancy, but like a cozy Airbnb must have had like good life like good life experiences that's why he is led there and the person who's living homeless he has different beliefs of the world let me rephrase that to beliefs basically because beliefs is like way more it sounds way more better so yeah let's just say the beliefs yeah where am i going with this video so basically what i'm saying is your belief pattern will dictate and it also depends on those things you've been through in the past because they are going to dictate how you believe so let's say let's say you were a kid and you saw your mom like cut coupons in newspaper like mcdonald's like oh no we're low on our paycheck this is a tight month we need to you know save money and i'm not some fucking rich kid or something bro i struggled as a kid like, I, my mom and parents could not afford food for me. Like, that's how bad it was. I'm trying to keep my voice down because there's, like, people <laughs> upstairs. <laughs> so, yeah, they could not afford food for me. I had to destroy that belief that, no, I cannot deserve anything. Money is scarce. Money is scarce. No, bro, it's fucking abundant. I did some, like, flipping. I just made, like, 800 bucks in the last two weeks by flipping stuff. Like, I bought, like, cheap shoes, cheap iPhone, and sold them for, like, double, triple the price. <laughs> money is fucking abundant. People are willing to pay for it. Money is abundant. It's not scarce. So if you've been raised in this circumstance by this belief pattern that money is very scarce, you better save it, don't, don't let go of it. What you're going to do for the rest of your life is you're just going to keep the money to it. And it's going to keep running away from you. Because you have this belief pattern. But the person who believes that it's abundant, you need to create value. You need to sell something to people. And you can price it as much. Some people will buy. That person is going to succeed way more than you just fucking keeping the belief that, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm already telling you, I'm not some fucking rich, like, influencer. I'm just a normal guy who 
is trying to make money online. <laughs> oh, Jolin's looking nice. I swear to God, like two minutes of this video is just me fucking flexing my jawline and shit. <sighs> Today is a good day. It's a very nice day. I'm gonna get some sunlight, go to the gym after recording this video. Do some like cold outreach emails, trying to get some coaching people booked in. And yeah. So remember guys, your belief pattern dictates. You need to start believing. And the easiest thing you can do is to start visualizing. Let's say, two weeks ago I visualized myself that living in this comfy space it's like a nice pretty bedroom this the bed is so comfy it's so comfy and not only that you need to keep your emotional vibration high so many guys are vibrating at fucking shame and guilt and then they wonder why their life is not getting better you're literally vibrating in guilt and shame of course nothing's gonna happen of course you're not gonna become good so you need to keep your vibration high as well with your belief pattern. I read in the book, Hard Times Great Strong Men, that so many people focus on the physical realm, but your physical realm is the manifestation of your spiritual and emotional and mental realm. Like much like a printer prints received, similarly your physical realm is like a received that's printed by your mental, spiritual and emotional realm. So you need to keep your spiritual vibration high. Oh, this video helps you, bro. And as always, there's some essential work you need to do. Make it effortless. Take care.